Hey guys, Jack Engineer here, and today we are back in, well, the YouTubing business. Now, it's been a while since I've done it, and. Oh, it's been a while since I've done it, and I'd like to say sorry for that. But I moved house. I intended to do it, but I never really got into it, so today, getting back into the series, and later on, doing a second series, which I've already given loads of it away in the comments, so you'll know what it is. Let's just say it involves loads of explosions and dropping something into a big planet. It's really fun. So. Back to this. Mission 17. ADS Phase 1. ADS. What is ADS? Asteroid Detection System. That's good. Right. First step. Launch the ADS Core Module into orbit. Okay. Dock a resupply module with it. Move the Core Module into the target zone. Budget 120,000. 15 minutes and 0 seconds is the max time. Okay, I could really... That budget is good. I'm fine with that. To protect HOM, Earth, to us, guys, against the threat of asteroid impact, the UCAEA, that's me, has decided to launch a new asteroid detection system, ADS. We don't actually call it the ADS. We call it the completely random flying rock detection system of near pointlessness, but we still have it because we can system. Yeah, I'm just going to pause for a minute and let that sink in. So. Two missions will be required to fully assemble the system, one to launch the central core module, phase one, and a further mission to launch and attach its two sensor wings, phase two. Wow, the, the logic that went into that. Launch the ADS core module into space, as this diagram here shows. Dock a resupply module to the orbiting core module and move it out of orbit into its final operating position, which is roughly 900 navies away. It's a bit far. Gold. There's 98,475,000. Don't worry, I can number it, it's fine. And less than 7 minutes 44. Silver. Less than 100 million. I'm good with that number. And less than 11 minutes 40 seconds. And for bronze, less than 120 million, so just less than our max, that's fine. Let us get going. So first, while I design the stages, I can talk to you a little bit. First of all, this is the first time I've done this in a while, and so I'd like to say sorry to you guys out there as well, who have been, I'd say, patiently awaiting more... It has been patiently awakening, but it's more like you moaning at me to do it because I haven't been doing it. Because I'm a lazy ass and whatever. I'm not actually, I've really wanted to do it, I just haven't for some reason. No, I'm not happy with that. And I will be getting back into a schedule of some sort. Because I love schedules. And I will actually be doing it this time. Rather than just whatever it was that I was doing. So, that's that bit over and done with. And, can't remember his name. Or her name. No, it is a guy's name. Um, he asked me about flying into Jupiter. And, after some words, at some point, I'd like to say I'm sorry. And that I will be doing this. In your time, however long it is to the end of the video, my time, minus a couple of days, because I've already done it. Well, I haven't already done it, but I've already done it by the time you've seen this video, evidently. Whatever, I'm talking about the, something way in the past, and oh look, we've got this stuff, that's cool. Right, um, back on task. Don't delay, strange child, me, whatever I am. Never mind. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was talking about something. And so, with that going along, making the sense up. Right. Next thing is, there's going to be a little bit of a change to how this channel works. Nothing drastic, mind you. Sadly. 
drastic things are always fun. But no, ignore me. Nothing drastic. It's just that rather than doing this whole upload when and where I want to, like I did, I'm actually going to try and schedule. And there may be a few mishaps in the coming months, but by about October I will be able to do it probably definitely in a schedule due to the fact that then is when I actually get my recording station up, as I'm calling it. Wow, that's, that stuff's really heavy. Uh, how did I do it when I was... never mind. I was going to test with getting this into orbit first. So yeah, I will actually be able to do videos when and where. Now at the end of this, it's going to be a finish to the 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, engines, 3, 2, 1. Thank you Jim for telling us that. And... Thank you there Jim. Right, I was saying something. Never mind. I'll think of it in a minute. Oh yes. Now, when I finish this, that will finish the storyline. The actual series one, as I'm calling it now. And I'm starting a series two, which by request from a few people in the audience. I've got to think of a better name than just the audience. Fledgling species, whatever, I don't mind. I'll think of a name, someone. Somewhere, somewhere, sorry. Uh, I'm going to be starting Series 2 in the future, but for you guys, probably at about the same time. And I'm going to crush stuff into planets, because I can, and do a bit of show-off in the building business. Now, I'll try not to give away details, but... Space trains. What more can someone want than a space Space train. And the other one. That was launched. Yay. We get to use solid boosters. As we know, everything's better with solid boosters. Oh, wait, countdown. Five. Engines. Three. Two. One. I nearly forgot to do the countdown then. Thank you, Jim. No idea why I call him Jim. It's his name now. This mission is all computer controlled, so Jim the astronaut, no, sorry. Bob the astronaut isn't here. Neither is Jeb. Who I've placed their name there as a Easter egg, kind of. For all you KSP fans. And the boosters are gone, and just as they go, prepare to use the Soyuz, which is arguably one of the single best propulsion methods in this game. This has so much thrust to weight ratio and a very high amount of fuel. It's just amazing. Look at that. About a twentieth of the way to orbit, and it barely uses any fuel. Definitely shows you some power. Alright, look, there's where the ADS goes. I wonder if we should literally send it on our way to the ADS, or... So that's that one. Or whether we should actually do something... You know, I'm going to send it off to the ADS now while they're getting into position. Right, telescope. It's been so long since I've played this game. Wait. Uh, switch to the other one. No, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. I've missed it. Of course, I've missed it. Scatterbrains here has missed it. 
and I don't foresee this one going very well either. And... Fire! What? No fire! I don't see this going very well. I really don't. Right. Fourth or fifth time, I don't know. Fire! Finally! Now we can switch to the second one, quickly! And as that one leaves... Fire! Faster, faster! There we go. How much faster? Yeah, it's a bit faster. Now if we just spin this one around... Damn you engines, not spinning. Now this one's speeding up accidentally. That could be an issue, potentially. Damn it. Zoom in. It's been a while since I've done that as well. There we go. Slot it on its course, path, whatever you want to call it. That's going near perfect, because I don't actually have to alter its path at all. I'm not sure if it's actually gone faster than that one. That one is there. No, this one's actually gone slower. Oops. There we go. Now it's definitely going faster. Wait, what? How are you not going faster? Oh yeah, it is going faster. Never mind. Don't mind me. Having some sort of senile moment before I'm actually senile. Because apparently I can do that. Because I'm strange and whatever. Okay, I've done it again. I meant to rotate this round the other way. Oops. Yeah, I knew I'd ruin this at some point. You know, I don't actually care now. I'm just going to spin it round and slow it down. Or should I try and dock them? If I release that. Ah, uh, slow down, slow down, slow down. There you go, that slows it. That does that. Probably going to go very over on this. Right, so that there's docked. Which means that I should be able to slow down. No, I won't be able to. It's going too fast. Or will I? Wait, I might actually... No, I won't be able to. Would have been good if I had, but I couldn't. I physically couldn't have done that. I know I was get the physics joke. Never mind. One, two, three, four, over a bit, accidentally. Really got to get back into the rhythm. Spin it round. And in. Come on. In we go. And... Brakes. Ta-da! We've got the gold award. Doesn't happen very often, but we've done it. And so, on that note, what we need next is the atmospheric probe. Sounds potentially dangerous. 
I will find a way to blow something up in that one. And, yeah. First time being back after a long time. Too long, I think. And I would like to say very sorry. Video is a bit shorter than it used to be, so it's also an issue. But, so that's it. Goodbye. This has been Jack Engineer. And I will see you again. Leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.